it's time that we tackled a little bit of color and positive and negative space. So we're going to do a little exercise in our sketchbooks that uses both of those things in one exercise. is based on the concept or the book of Linda Kemp and she uses negative painting quite a bit. So if you want to know more about negative painting, check out her book, Linda Kemp. It's K-E-M-P. And uh, look at that some more. Okay, so we're going to work in a few areas. I'm going to make some squares for you to be able to see. I'm going to use colored pencils. You can work in whatever shapes you want. And basically what you're going to do is get your colored pencils. Start with um, I'm going to use all cool colors. Cool colors are blue, greens, and violets. Okay, I'll do warm colors in this one. This one will be warm. And those colors are going to be my yellows and my oranges and reds and also any uh, warm browns like sienna brown. Okay. Alright, so you have that established. I'm going to use this lightest value of a kind of minty blue-green and I'm going to cover this whole area in this square with it. You can do this with watercolor. Uh, it's a lot faster than using color pencil but if you work in a small area in your sketchbook then you should be able to do this exercise in a relatively quick amount of time. Again, we don't care what the picture is of or what it looks like. This is strictly an idea book, a learning book, and it's about process, not product. So I have my blue-green light value. Now I'm going to choose another color that's in the cool family, so either blue-green or violet. I'm going to choose a kind of um, a little bit darker blue. And I want to start with my lightest value and work my way to my darkest value. So I'm going to use the next color pencil that's a little bit darker than the first one I used. And I'm going to just use a basic shape. Only instead of coloring in the shape, I'm going to color the negative space around the shape. I'm going to use an oval so or an organic pattern like we were talking about rocks the other day. I'm making a circle that is just a line Okay. And now I'm going to color in the negative space, not inside the circle I made, but outside of the circle I made, and color in the whole area around those circles, the negative space. That's where you don't have an object. It's like the background stuff. Okay, so the area around the shapes getting darker. The objects are staying light. Now I'm going to choose one that is a little bit darker. And now this time I'm going to leave some of these the light color. And I'm going to color in the negative space and a few of them. I'm going to make another circle shape so that I have some of the circles the next, the second color on the inside that I used. So this one is a darker color than this one. Now 
Okay, so now we have a variety of shapes that we only colored in the negative space each time. So we ended up making several layers with different values. So let's do the same thing with the warm one and see what happens. Okay, let's go back. 